All right, so uh, a while ago I made this video called Big Tutorial Incoming, um, and it's going to be zero to game dev, where I go basically from zero and then show you how to make all the assets and create a game. I now have the game created. Um, it's in uh, it's on my itch page. You can play it in the browser. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, I'm just going to play it now and show you guys what uh, is in store. I haven't made the tutorial yet. I'm about halfway through that. It'll probably be about uh, March when that comes out. But let's go ahead and play the game now. So we can hit new game. I was the maintenance I'll skip the cutscene because if you want to see it, you can just play the game. But uh, anyway, we have um, about 18 seconds to get ready. Uh, I have a pause menu here where I can turn up the music or I can turn it down because that music is kind of loud. I can adjust the mouse sensitivity. So I've found about there is where I like it, where it's pretty responsive, but I might turn it down just for the sake of the video. So that's pretty nice. I had this laser sight and I made a video on how to make that. And uh, what that thing just said is the hand declares as level one. I have this hand over there which displays a level when you click on it. I also have these kiosk things that just show pictures that I made that I think are funny or like AI generated. You can take a look at those. Uh, there is the hand. So that's the hand info station that tells you what level it is. And we can run around here. These guys are using Godot's pathfinding. We'll shoot them a little more. If you shoot them in the eye, it's a critical hit and you get the gold blood eruption. If you shoot them in the body, it's just a regular red one. And every time you get a kill, you'll hear my voice saying, hell yes, dude. You know, uh, I probably didn't have to do that, but I did, so shoot a few more and I want to get the shotgun you can see the guns are on the wall and that is an ammo pickup that's another one so you can see we got a bunch of ammo right there the pickups only last about eight seconds and then they disappear so you gotta get them real quick and go ahead and pick up the shotgun so yeah I have stuff like that I think that's uh, pretty funny Thanks, hand. And uh, I'm going to take some damage right here. So you can see where it did say health, it's now at 80. That's our health. And then up in the top left corner is your points. Uh, I didn't really flesh out the UI too much because, you know, I might do that more in the tutorial. Um, after but this was just to get the basics down you can see all the basics you need are there and uh, I have enough points to buy more ammo for this gun so that's what I'm gonna do is run over here and buy more I got 25 now and uh, I could get killed right there pretty easily they can bite you pretty quickly and you can see uh, that guy just dropped the health pack I'm gonna try to get it you can also jump so I'll jump to right here, and you can see they retrace their pathfinding. They can come through this area right here, but they can't get down over there. So we'll just keep blasting. And basically they're going to spawn every three seconds until they spawn the amount the wave has in it. So if I press escape here, there are five levels. I think we're on level two, so there should be 13. Level three will be 25. And there's a boss level at the end. So I'm going to try and beat the whole game. It uh, does get a little challenging towards the end. All right. Oh, is that guy left? So let me go ahead and we're going to buy the Glock over here. Yeah. 
Yeah, and all of our weapons are pretty much animation driven. So once the animation finishes, you can like fire again. And uh, I think that was the simplest way to do it. And I kind of like the way they turned out. I could have added a like a uh, some type of um, like cursor or something, but I just kind of like the charm of not having anything. It just looks very I don't know, like cool in my opinion. And that monster there really doesn't do anything, it's just for ambience or ambience, but uh, I mean, oh shit, I might get murdered. Shoot those guys. They will get stuck on here, but the thing is, they jump off of there at like unpredictable rates, so you can't really depend on them getting stuck on it. Which is uh, why I left it in, I probably could have adjusted it with the uh, like mapping. Um, I would have just changed the cell, the cell size of the units, but I decided not to. I like the unpredictability of that a little more. And I'm trying to save up to buy the uh, Yeah, so there's a uh, <laughs> Uh, some songs too. So we gotta kill these guys. And we got enough to buy that. And now we can just blast away. That's what we want. And let's go ahead and buy some more ammo for this guy. This is gonna be our main weapon now. So yeah, I mean, I kind of like this. And if you run around here, they can't hit you as long as you're moving fast enough. But if you get blocked up, they will like swarm and kill you. So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta be smart. I could have added a sprint feature, but I just feel like, um, you know, I'm already kind of like, Swamped with work, and I got a real job too, which has nothing to do with game development, so I can't really. Can't waste all my time making these little games. Oh shit, I'm about to fucking die. And I was gonna make an upgrade system. Um, it's actually still in the game, but it's just not hooked up because it was like. Too intensive for what I was trying to do, and it would complicate the tutorial I was trying to make even further. So it's like, let's just get the basics down first. And uh, I think I've accomplished that here. There is a bug that sometimes it won't spawn like enough of the enemies, or the enemy kill isn't registered. I'm not sure which. I like it doesn't happen all the time. But yeah, then the timer won't start for the next wave, and that's always a pain in the ass. Let me turn the volume down. So we got six seconds. I think we got plenty of ammo. There's no way to buy health. Um, this is the final level. Which is the final level, so. Yeah, I think the bug that makes them not spawn is when they get hit right as they're dying. I believe that makes them like, uh, I guess they switch states so fast that they switch out of the dead state, and I think the the call uh, the call to the UI to update like the um, enemy death isn't actually made. I think that's the issue. So. And I think the way I'm going to fix that is I'm going to put the call to that function actually on the queue free of the uh, instance of the monster. 
So when it exits the tree, it'll actually call that function instead of when it enters the death state. Now this next tune goes out to a hollering hog whose horse son ran off from his Mexican dinner. Well, at this point, old Jimbo might blow him go and I'll lose you. Do the real songs from the good old times you had. Don't worry, Ralph. It's not me to come outside. All right, so now I think we've got almost all 35 spawned in. We gotta start blasting away. So now I think the boss is gonna come out. Let's go ahead and buy a bunch of ammo. Yeah, so this is just a guy I made in Blender by bringing in a make human mesh. And sometimes he freezes up, and I'm still trying to fix that bug. But let's see if he does it this time. And you can only hit him in the head. Oh, yep, he's frozen up. Damn, that sucks. Well, anyway, it probably won't freeze up for you, hopefully. I'll see if I can fix that bug. But anyway, what he normally does is he will summon uh, a bunch of guys to come and attack you in waves, and he will also shoot, like, poison at you. So, man, this is a real fucking bummer, but... She was missing, I was the main culprit. Plus, I was strapped to the seat and there were bullet holes everywhere. No trace of any space beam. Camera cut out as soon as I opened the box. I was assumed criminally insane. I was on my way to the interplanetary sanitarium and going for wayward kitties. There, I would be ground up and fed to maniacs and wild kitties. So, yeah, that's pretty much the uh, entire game. So, um, yeah, if you want to go check it out, go check it out. Usually the boss doesn't lock up. It only does it like one of every fucking ten times. I don't know why. I'll probably fix it in the future and put an update out. But um, yeah, the tutorial on how I make this will be coming out. It's probably going to be about like five hours long. But it's going to take you from knowing nothing about programming to uh, basically being able to code this. So it's, uh, I don't know, I'm going to do it for free too. Because I think it's just, you know, I like to get people... Uh, familiar with this type of shit it opens up like a whole new world in your brain to explore so uh yeah if you want to go check this out link in the description have a good one